In this video tutorial, I will show you step-by-step step how to perform a one sample t-test in Excel so you can calculate a p-value. A one sample t-test is a statistical test to determine if a sample mean is significantly different from a hypothesized mean. For this tutorial, I have a sample of 12 young female adults aged 18 years old and I have measured their height in inches and entered the data into a single column in Excel. The data can be seen here. For the purpose of this example, I will pretend that the national average height of 18 year old girls is 66.5 inches. So I want to perform a one sample t-test in Excel to determine if there is any significant difference between the heights of my sample compared with the national average height, in other words, 66.5 inches. So let's go through and perform a one sampled t-test step by step in Excel. The first thing I like to do is to calculate the average of the sample. So in a new cell, I'm going to type in equals average open bracket, and I'm going to click and drag on the sample data, close the bracket, and then press the return key. The average or mean height of my sample is 68.33 inches. Next, I will calculate the standard deviation of my sample by going to a new cell and typing equals STDEV, open bracket, and then click and drag again on my sample data, close the bracket, press the return key. So my standard deviation is 1.64 inches. The next step is to determine the count or the number of observations. So if you only have a small number of observations in your data set, you can manually count the number of observations. Otherwise, you can use the count function in Excel by entering equals count open bracket, select the data, close the bracket, press the return key. So I have 12 observations. So now we have the standard deviation and the count. We can then work out the standard error of the mean. And the standard error of the mean is simply the standard deviation divided by the square root of n, or the count. So in a new cell, to calculate the standard error of the mean, I'm going to type in equals. I'm going to select the cell with the standard deviation in, which is this cell here, divided by square root, which is SQRT, open bracket, select the count cell, close the bracket, and then press the return key. So the standard error of the mean is 0.47 inches. And next we want to calculate the degrees of freedom. So the degrees of freedom can be calculated by subtracting one from the count. So in a new cell, I'm gonna type in equals. I'm gonna click on the cell that contains my number of observations, which is 12. Subtract one, and then press the return key. And obviously, you don't need to be a math genius to work out that that is 11. And finally, before we can then calculate the t statistic and then the p value, we firstly need to enter the hypothesized mean. So this is the value which we're comparing our sample mean to. And if you remember from the start of my video, I'm interested in the height of my sample, and I'm going to compare this sample to the national average height, which is 66.5 inches. So in this cell, I'm just gonna type in 66.5 for reference. So now we can actually work out the T statistic. So the formula to work out the T statistic for a one sample T test is simply the hypothesized mean, in this case, the population mean, subtracted from the sample mean, and then divide all of that by the standard error of the mean. And since we have already calculated all of these values, we can work this out in Excel. So in a new cell, I'm going to type in equals. I'm going to open a bracket, and I'm going to select the sample mean first, which is this cell here. Subtract the hypothesized mean, which is this cell here for me. Close the bracket. Divide by the standard error of the mean, which is this cell here. Then press the return key. So the T statistic in this example is 3.87. Now the last step is to calculate the P value by using the T statistic and the degrees of freedom. And this is achieved by using the TDIST function in Excel. 
And simply in a new cell, I'm going to enter equals t dist open bracket. And the first thing I need to select is the cell containing the t statistic, which is this cell here. I'm then going to add a comma. And then I need to enter the cell which contains the degrees of freedom, which is this cell here. Add another comma. And then I need to specify the number of tails in my analysis. So for my example, I did not hypothesize if my sample data was greater or lower than the national average. I was just interested to see if there is a significant difference. Therefore, I will perform a two-tailed analysis. And to perform a two-tailed analysis, you simply enter two. If, on the other hand, I hypothesized that the sample data will be greater than the national average, then I would select to do a one-tailed analysis instead. And to do a one-tailed analysis, you simply enter one here. But like I said, I'm going to enter two because I want to perform a two-tailed analysis. I'm now going to close the bracket and then press the return key. So this cell here now contains the p-value. And the p-value for this result is 0 0.0026. So if my alpha level was set to 0.05, then since my p-value is below the alpha level, I will reject my null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. In other words, there is a significant difference between the heights of the sample data compared with the national average. So in this tutorial, I have shown you how to perform a one-sample t-test in Excel. Now there is no function to perform a one-sample t-test in Excel. However, you can still perform this by using a stepwise approach, which I've described. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.